All right, everybody, we're going to go ahead and get started here. Thank you all so much for jumping on today. My name is Victoria and I'm here for uh, representing Punch Pass and here to talk to you about our topic today, which is how your studio can give back doing a little extra for your community. A couple of things before we get started, we are gonna take questions at the end. So if you have any thoughts or questions as we're going through it, feel free to enter those in the chat and then uh, we'll, we'll get to that at the end uh, if we didn't answer it uh, through the course of the presentation. Um, we also, when we jump off here, we will be asking you a question. If you have any topics that you have an interest in having us cover in our monthly series, uh, please let us know. We like to you know, get feedback and, and hear what topics you might be interested in uh, with regards to your studio and with regards to Punch Pass. So definitely let us know. And um, I think that's everything. Uh, if you have any questions, please reach out to us uh, either at support at, punch at punchpass.com or in our chat. And um, yeah, we'll just go ahead and get started. So again, our focus today is a lot about um, giving back to your community, but also um, you know ways that you can uh, be supported uh, by your community in addition as a local business. Um, in terms of what we're going to be covering, we're going to be talking a bit about uh, ways that we can use our studio to direct resources, uh, to maybe highlight some organizations that are near and dear to your heart or, or part of your local community that you care about. We'll also be talking about different ways that Punch Pass can help you offer those kinds of um, discounts or um, help you organize these kinds of events to you know, highlight ways that you can give back to your community, as well as um, talking about uh, ways to encourage people to shop locally this holiday season, because we know that you are all, you know, a, a leader in your community, a local business in your community. And uh, that's some, that's a kind of organization that people should like to support during these times. So uh, that's kind of a general overview, but we're kind of going to get into it here talking about the holiday season and what that might uh, you know, sort of entail when it comes to you, your business and your community. Um, a lot of times people are looking to give back around this time of year. They're trying to figure out ways that they can uh, you know, support people or organizations um, that might be you know, struggling these, these times of year. And as well as um, you know, kind of maybe looking to you know, see something that might help them feel better, right? You know, people are looking for ways that they can feel better and sometimes supporting an organization or donating can really give you just that, that really nice, warm, fuzzy feeling around the holidays. So that's something that people are looking for. And, you know, you have a direct through line to your community. You're working uh, with people in your, in your area. People are coming to your studio. They're talking to you about their lives, what they're seeing you are offering them a direct service. So there's this opportunity for you, know, you to connect people or connect organizations because you're this, this kind of vibrant uh, lifeline throughout um, you know, different people's lives. As you, as you kind of just offer your fitness services, you're also doing a, a whole lot more. And I think sometimes it's good to reflect on that and to realize what a powerful leadership position you can have in your community as a result. Because you have this group of people who, you know, check out your social media, who receive your emails, who take your classes, who show up. You know, these are, these are people that, you know, listen to you and, and take advice from you, not just, you know, in, in class, but maybe this is an opportunity to direct them to do something or encourage them to um, try to support something which might, again, make, make an, a bigger difference because you have this, this audience that's available to you. And you also have uh, you know, an opportunity again around this season to encourage people to support small businesses like yourself during the holiday season and encourage people to think about um, offering a gift that's maybe the gift of fitness, the gift of supporting a small business like yourself. And there's a couple different ways to do that. So we're gonna talk about all of these different topics um, as we kind of head through the presentation. We're gonna start by talking about different ways you can offer discounts and what that could look like for you and your business. So one thing that you could be offering and, and thinking about offering is, is how you can provide fitness and classes for people who are underserved in your community. Um, you know, there might be ways that you can think about and, and ways that we'll talk about uh, supporting people who might not be able to financially afford uh, 
uh, you know, the kind of fitness classes that you uh, have the ability to offer. And that might be something that you are thinking about as, you know, kind of go out your, about your day, um, you know, ways that you could could help and provide that for people and maybe ways that, you know, people who attend your classes that can afford it can also help support people who can't. Um, so there's a, there's an opportunity there that we're going to talk, uh, you know, talk about. There's an opportunity to do this on a case by case basis. So a lot of times as a studio owner or as an instructor, you'll hear from people, you'll talk to people about their lives, about where they're at. And there might be an opportunity that arises where you think, you know, yeah, we can help this, this particular individual. And maybe putting that out there um, is something that you, you also might wanna consider. You can certainly make something a little bit more open to the public, and we'll be talking about that when we talk about um, classes by donation. Uh, so that's something that people can can elect for themselves, um, you know, kind of to pay what they can. Um, but you could also do a targeted approach and offer a discount in a way that goes directly to uh, certain people and maybe not have it as uh, publicly obvious, depending on, again, what you're looking to offer and, and what might work best for you and your community. So the first thing we're gonna be covering is our donation pass feature. Um, this is uh, you know, an option that would be again, publicly available and something that we see a lot of people uh, start to use since we've launched it. What's also something I always like to mention is I've heard from a lot of people who mention when they offer a donation pass, they do find people, of course, who are, you know, using it to pay you know, what they can, which might not be the full price of a class, but they're also finding a lot of their, uh, you know, people uh, who attend their classes regularly love the opportunity to pay a little bit more than they normally would in order to help support the people who can't. So this is kind of a nice feature that gives you both options. And let's go ahead and take a look. If you want to set up a pass by donation, you can head into Manage Passes and click on New Pass. From here, we'll set up our donation pass and we'll set it to sell online. And you can set your own restrictions for that. Then we'll set it up as a punch card. Again, you can do any uh, type of pass here, but we'll go ahead and I'll say that donations are accepted for this pass. We'll toggle that on. Then we can set the minimum donation amount, so the minimum you're willing to accept for that pass, and then you can set a maximum. So if people want to donate more, that's a great opportunity for people, um, you know, to kind of support you and your small business. Uh, and then you can, again, adjust your settings as you normally would. So if you need to adjust which classes that's only allow eligible for, you can go ahead and, and select those. And then we'll go ahead and click save. Then uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at what that looks like from the customer view. So here's our donation pass and it'll show us the minimum and the maximum. And this is where the customer gets to select um, by whole numbers what they'd like to donate for that pass. So they can select that through the drop down, go ahead and purchase that through our Stripe integration. Okay. So the donation pass is something, again, where people, you can set that up and make that available to people to uh, select an amount. We also have um, uh, an option to offer discount codes. So this is a way to um, create a code, which you could make public, but you could also make private, again, depending on um, you know, how you wanna share that out, whether you wanna target approach to individuals or an organization, um, something you could provide uh, on a larger scale. Um, and we'll go through how to set up discount codes and how they work. If you want to set up a discount code um, for past purchases from your manage settings page, you can click on discount codes and here you can click on the add new discount code. So here you can set up your code word. So it doesn't need to be all in word, all uppercase, um, but you can use uh, numbers and letters. Um, so we can set up a, um, a discount code here. And we offer two different types of discount codes. So you can set up a percentage or you can set up a fixed amount. So a fixed amount would be um, like a dollar amount 
percentage could be something like, um, you know, here we'll do 100% off. You can set an expiration date for discount codes. So for instance, if you're setting up a, a special where people, uh, if they sign up early, they get a discount, that would be one way to do it. You can also set up a limit of how many of this codes uh, can be redeemed. So if you're doing something like the first 10 people to sign up, that would be one way to set up a discount code. But here we'll just um, apply it here and go ahead and create it. Once we create that discount code, we're going to go ahead and click into it. And here's where you can edit everything. But the big thing you're going to want to adjust here is the eligible passes and ticketed classes. So I'll click to change those. And we can clear all. So you can select ticketed classes for events. Um, you can do uh, specific active passes. Here we'll do our single class pass and we'll click save. And then uh, from the customer perspective, when they're going to purchase a pass, they can uh, enter the discount code, apply the discount, and that will be applied um, for their purchase. So one way that discount codes can be used is, you know, you could create the same code to be used by the same group of people. So if you're supporting seniors in your area or students in your area, um, or people who um, you know, sign up who are associated with a particular organization in your area. You could use the same code and, and have them all use the same code. You could also create an individual one, you know, on a case by case basis. If you have certain people reach out and they have a particular need, you could say, yeah, we're going to give you this discount. And that could be, again, 100%. It could be any kind of percentage off. It could be a fixed dollar amount off. Um, so you have a lot of choices here when it comes to discount codes uh, for giving uh, uh, discounts to people in need. Another option uh, when it comes to offering a discount or a special rate or a special pass or membership to people who might need it is our secret feature uh, for a secret pass or membership. Basically, when you're setting up a pass and you're using um, you know, our Stripe integration to sell online, you can toggle the sell online feature off. So it won't display in your purchase a pass page. However, we still offer you this purchase link. So this link is something that you can share out to customers um, and say, hey, you know, here's this special rate that we'll give you because of, you know, again, however, however you've decided to offer a discount to them, um, you can say, hey, here's this discounted rate click here, use this link, and this is how you'll be able to purchase that pass or membership moving forward. So it would be something that, again, wouldn't be offered, you know, seen on the public side of things, but could be something you could offer to a group of people um, or individuals. So there's a couple different ways to kind of offer uh, discounted rates and, and free classes for your own classes. Um, but there are other ways that we can give back um, and use our studio and our, and our influence and our audience of, of customers to organize something, especially around the holidays, as again, I think people are looking for a way that they can have a positive impact in the world, but it might be a little hard and a little confusing to say like, how do I do that? Um, and, and how to feel a, feel a real impact. And so we've been, you know, our team at Punch Pass talks about this sometimes. And we think a lot of, a lot of times when you look at a big global or national scale, it's really hard to feel like you can make an impact, but where, you know, your, your small businesses and your communities um, can have, you can have a big impact on a local level and, and really, uh, you know, make a difference here. And by organizing it, by coming up with an idea and implementing it in your local community, you'll give your customers the opportunity to support something in a way that's pretty easy and convenient for them through an organization that they already like, which is your studio. Um, so one thing you could think about this holiday season is a drive for people who are in need. Um, you know, again, you're in this position um, to coordinate efforts, not just your own, but um, all the people who attend classes with you. So one thing you could look into is um, a local food drive or a clothing drive near you where you can say, hey, you know, people often have lists of what they need, whether that's clothing and, and uh, equipment, maybe that's 
food or seasonal items. And you can, you know, post that you can promote it and say, hey, you know, during this time, you can bring in uh, an item and we will or, you know, coordinate the donation effort to that um, you know, local food pantry or clothing drive. So you can say, yeah, you know, here's the list, promote it, put it on social media and say, we're doing a donate, you know, we're doing collecting donations for this organization. When you come to class, feel free to bring something. And, and you know, that could just be something that, hey, we just offer that and say, we're, we're doing the coordination. So just bring it and we'll, you know, we'll make it happen for you. And that could be the extent of it. Another thing you could think about is, is an incentive for people to bring in an item. So it could be something like a raffle. You know, if you bring in an item, you're entered into, um, you know, a raffle for a, maybe it's a free pass in January or, or like a five class pass in the new year, something that, you know, still relates to your business. It could be for um, some swag you might have, you know, something uh, that has your brand on it, like a sweatshirt or something along those lines and say, you know, if you bring in, bring in an item for the drive, we'll give you, you know, one entry to the raffle and we're raffling off this item. So it could be a way to, again, offer an incentive and, and promote this, um, you know, uh, this activity that you're doing. Um, and another opportunity to promote what you're doing is once you uh, have everything at the end of the drive that you're supporting, you can definitely think about taking pictures and documenting the drop off. So the pictures of what everyone brought in, you can post that on Facebook or Instagram, um, any social media site that you used. You can make an Instagram story about it and, and, you know, kind of follow you and your, maybe you have some volunteers help bring the items to the drive. And, um, you know, this is kind of a way to, you know, highlight what you're doing in addition to just kind of doing it with your customers is, is show them the results and, and see what the kind of impact they could have. So it's kind of, um, you know, it doesn't have to require you to put in a lot of money, you know, certainly you can offer an incentive if you want to, but it could just be a little bit of time on your effort to promote it and let people know that you're doing it. And you can have a pretty big impact again, depending on, on your clients and your customer base, this could be something that um, you know, could really take off and is, and is certainly something as, you know, we head into the winter months, at least here in the U.S., um, you know, we see uh, there's a lot of need for um, food and clothing. So that might be something near you as well. And it might, it might you know, hopefully this sparks an idea. There might be another opportunity um, along these lines that um, could also work, but this is just some things we've been thinking about. Um, so again, a drive for people in need could be an option. Another option, again, if you're looking for like a one-time event or, you know, kind of focused on a specific date or time frame, um, is Giving Tuesday. So across the globe, um, uh, it's the uh, Tuesday this year is November 30th. And um, there's, this, uh, there's this movement to um, encourage people to be generous and um, uh, give, uh, give on Tuesday and really think about what they can give, generally money, um, but you know, it's something that you could kind of focus your efforts around. So maybe that's related to the clothing or food drive that you're doing, but it could also be something, um, you know, again, to have a specific class around, a specific event around, and consider saying that the, the proceeds will be going to a good cause, a local charity in your area, something that matters to you, something that meets the core values of your studio, something that you care about, um, you know, this holiday season that you want to support. And so that could be something that you could organize. Again, it could just be a one day event um, or, or just, you know, your regular Tuesday class. Maybe that's um, when you're going to say, okay, the proceeds from our Tuesday classes are going to this organization this year for Giving Tuesday. Um, and you could also, you know, in, in, a, in con, a conjunction with that, you could also set up a special pass on your site and set up a donation pass and say, hey, this isn't for classes, this isn't for anything else. We're just taking donations for the organization that we're supporting on Giving Tuesday. So you could come to class and use your class pass and the proceeds will go to that. Or you can also just, um, you know, maybe you're not going to class on Tuesdays, maybe you just want to donate and you can organize the donation process that way. So that would be another way you could kind of do a, a, a single event or some kind of moment to capture the giving spirit. And again, it's sort of a global effort around the world for people to, to unleash generosity um, uh, on Giving Tuesday. So something to think about if you haven't done it, if you haven't participated in that previously, could be something you could do um, with your studio. 
Another way you can kind of give back, and this is something that we've, we've seen um, happen on a, on a regular basis as opposed to a one-time event here, um, you could think about donating late cancel and no-show fees to a good cause. One of our uh, Punch Pass clients is Girl Fight Fitness. And what they do every, every month that's really, really cool is they announce the, the organization that they're going to be supporting that month. Um, and 50% of their no-show or late cancel fees each month go to a different charity. So, um, you know, last month for October, they went to uh, Street Soldiers. And this uh, coming month uh, for November, it's going to a, a local animal shelter. So, you know, that's a really, really unique and interesting way to regularly give back as a studio. And I think, um, you know, not just, um, n not only are they doing something really great, they're also highlighting a lot of cool uh, local organizations, um, places in their area that need the help and support. So they're highlighting that for their customer base who will see that and know, um, you know where that's going. It's also not a bad time to remind people about their, no, you know, their late cancel and no-show policies. So you know, it also um, maybe gets that policy in front of the customers a little bit more uh, obviously, which is, a, which is another option. Another thing you could think about, um, you know, if, especially if you're offering um, scholarships or, um, you know, kind of uh, pay what you can classes, you could also instead, you know, kind of if you're not focusing on an organization, you could say, hey, you're, you know, this is our, our cancellation policy, but the late cancel fees and the no-show fees go to help support pay for, um, you know, scholarships for passes for people who can't currently, you know, afford to take our classes. So you could go in a couple different directions uh, for this, but it's a way to kind of, you know, uh, you know, talk about your cancellation policy, your late cancel and no-show fees in a way that's, that's pretty hard to argue that, you know, um, that people shouldn't get charged. Hey, this is going to a great organization or this is going to support people who, who currently can't afford to take classes or need assistance taking classes. And uh, I just think it's a really nice way to um, turn that, uh, which can sometimes, uh, you know, kind of make people feel a little like, oh, I don't want to pay a fee. It can be like, you know, at least, hey, I couldn't make it to that class and I should have said something, but it's going to a good cause and kind of have that like, all right, well, you know, it's okay. I'm all right with it. Uh, so that's, that's another thing you could think about. Um, again, if you're looking to make a difference um, on, a, on a maybe more regular scale. And, you know, the reason we talk about these kind of opportunities is because it, it, it does say something about you and your business and, and it can, can really make a difference. And then again, we've been talking about how people want to give back to their community, especially um, these times of year. Um, so that is something to think about. Um, you might also take this opportunity to raise awareness for a cause that you really feel strongly about. Is there an organization in your life that's helped you or, or family members that you want to highlight and bring, um, bring attention to? Maybe that's what you're going to support on Giving Tuesday, or that's what you want to focus on um, each month for your um, you know, late cancel and no-show fees. It's an opportunity to highlight something that you care about um, or that someone in your life cares about. Um, you could definitely talk to your instructors, uh, maybe talk to your regular clients, maybe someone has an idea, you know, if you don't have a, have a thought about what organization you might want to support, the feeling that probably someone who attends your studio is involved with a local organization that might, might just really, you know, kind of uh, grow this connection with them and, and the way that you can bring it in front of your customers and they can bring your business in front of them. Um, it's also, you know, something where you get to highlight what your small business stands for and what you care about, what's important to you as a business that really engages with your community. Um, so this is something that I think a lot of people are looking for when they're looking to support organizations and where they want to spend their money. Um, I think it can be a really good, good way to highlight who you are as a business. And we truly believe that this can have a really positive ripple effect. Um, the, what you're putting out and, and, and saying about yourself, what you're putting out there and saying like, hey, these are the organizations we support. We're doing this event. We're highlighting. Here's how we, how we give back. I think that's an opportunity to, to you know, promote that and say, this is what we do. This is what we care about. And I think that people who are looking for a studio to check out might see that and, and that might really give them a good feeling about who you are and, and as a business. And I think people are trying to be um, 
really consistent with you know who they want to support and 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 care about with their dollars these days. So <coughs> by putting that out in the world um, and promoting that and and again putting that on social media and talking about it, there's an opportunity for that all um, all of that goodwill to come back to you as well. Um, and and we really believe that. So is kind of the, the, the focus of the donations and the giving back and the ways that you can think about that um, this holiday season. However, there's the there's also the you know the time of giving. There's also a lot of uh, a lot of spending money this time of year. And this is an opportunity for you as a small business owner to highlight the opportunity for people to think local and shop local um, during the holiday season. Um, some of you probably have experienced this and, and, and might, might know about this, but there's been a, a real slowdown of supply chains across the globe. A lot of times people are seeing a lot of really long shipping delays. People are hearing, people are talking about on the news about how, um, you know, the gifts that you're ordering online might not arrive by Christmas at this point. And so I've been seeing as I've been doing, you know, I'm on social media, you know, checking things out. I've been seeing a lot of people talk about this and a lot of small businesses talk about this as well. And this is an opportunity for you to promote the fact that local businesses are available for gifts. Um, you know, your classes are available. They're not being delayed by supply chains. So this is an opportunity to kind of promote that yourself and talk about how your studio and your, you know, a gift card for your studio or a class pass for your studio might be the perfect gift um, for the special person in your life this year. And, um, you know, something, something to think about. And it's not, doesn't always just have to be, you know, your organization, as you can see here, they're promoting a lot of different people who have um, something to offer, something to give. So that's something you can think about. Another thing you can uh, talk about or look into is what's going on in your town or your city because there are a lot of um, you know local towns that are promoting things like small business Saturday or encouraging people to shop local. Uh, this is from Marietta, Ohio, and they are promoting the fact that all of the like local businesses and, and supporting them actually they they donate more than a lot of large organizations to charities. Um, so it's a, it's a really great way to kind of get involved with your town and your community. If they're doing some kind of effort to promote shopping local, you might want to get in contact with those people and, and let them know you want to be involved and you want to, you know, kind of support that as well as a member of your, of your town or your city. So something to check out. Um, I've been seeing these Again, also over social media in all different all different sized towns. So check out what's going on. Maybe your chamber of commerce has an idea, um, but uh, yeah, do a little search and see if you can get involved with that because you're a local business, and I I think a lot of people would love to support you this uh, this season when it comes to where they want to shop. So. Um, we talked about discount codes earlier as ways to give people um, like a, a, a reduced price. But there's another way you can use discount codes and that is for gifting. So we'll kind of walk you through this process. <clears throat> we are working on uh, making a, a nice document uh, in our support articles on this one because now that we offer the feature where discount codes can support dollar amounts, there's this kind of nice process where it reduces a little bit of the work um, when it comes to transferring passes or anything along those lines. So uh, what you can do is set up a gift card pass in your account and you make it the same prices as, as the pass that you'd be selling. So for instance, you might have a 10 class pass gift card. You make it the same price as your regular um, uh, 10 class pass. One of the differences is you'll make it ineligible for classes. This is for the gifter to purchase. Um, and you can explain this all up uh, in the class pass description so that people will know um, how this process is going to work. You know, set up the pass. When you receive your purchase notification that someone has purchased a um, gift card pass, you can go in and set up a discount code. 
So you can set up a discount code for the amount of the pass and limit the number of codes for um, that can be redeemed to one. So just this one code can um, <clears throat> be used to purchase a pass. Then you can email that code to the purchaser and say, hey, here is your gift code. You provide that to your recipient however you want. Like they can send it in the email to them. They could create their own card or write it in a card and say like, here's your, here's, here is your um, code for a free pass. And then all the recipient needs to do is enter that discount code in the actual 10 class pass and they'll be able to you know sign up and receive that pass and you know yeah for the recipient it's a lot it, it, they don't have to really do that much work they just oh we get the code and they can sign up for the pass and they'll just yeah be able to access that pass your reports will be accurate because um the gift cards for the purchaser and then the recipient is receiving it for free. So um, yeah, everything about this process is about making it really easy for the person receiving the gift. And um, yeah, for discount codes, it's a nice way to um, offer a gift idea this holiday season. So people can do it digitally and they don't have to yeah wait for something to be packaged and shipped and sent to them. It's just, this is the discount code, we'll email it to you and you can gift it however you want and they can get creative with it um, or they could just email the person the code. So it's, um, it's a pretty quick and easy way to set up uh, gift cards this holiday season and something you might want to consider. So I'm gonna check here to see if we have any questions in the chat so far. Um, I'm not seeing anything yet. Um, okay. Hmm. I got a great question um, about <clears throat> the discount codes. So the discount code uh, for the gift pass is, uh, you know, the, the, the gift card pass is separate from your regular 10 class pass. So the gift card is just for purchasing. It's not working for classes. It's the, the purchaser is, is, getting that, is getting that pass. So it's not gonna be eligible for classes. The recipient um, is, you know, going to receive the code. So you're going to send the code to the gifter. The gift recipient is going to get the code, and then they can use it to purchase the regular 10 class pass. So they're not going to be purchasing the gift code, um, gift card pass. Uh, so I can definitely, uh, you know, walk through that if that is a little confusing. Um, but we'd have two passes available. So one would be, you know, for purchasing. And the other one would be for receiving. Um, yeah, the benefit of this is that the um, this doesn't require you to get both the gifter and the gifties information. Um, you just communicate with the person who's purchasing the pass for the gift. And then when they provide the code to their friend who they're buying the pass for, their friend can um, you know, receive the pass, enter the discount code, and they don't have to do anything really um, unusual or, or, or you don't have to get more information. They just get to send the code to their friend. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Great. No, I'm glad you asked the question. I think, um, I think uh, that is probably a little bit more clear to everyone now, hopefully. I'll wait another minute in case anyone has any other questions. Okay, um, so we have a question about um, different policies for no-shows and late cancels. So <clears throat> uh, cancellation policies is currently applied to all of the different class types in your punch pass account. 
Um, our team is looking at, um, I believe we're working on the ability to apply different cancellation policies to different class types. So that might be coming down the road. Um, but uh, right now, the process is um, you set your cancellation policy um, for your classes. So there's a certain number of hours um, where you prevent them from booking or, or prevent them from canceling. And then if they cancel uh, after that time period, that's considered a late cancel. Um, within the system, you are able to, you know, certainly if someone late cancels, you can remove that. So you don't actually have to take the credit from their pass. Um, or, uh, or you don't have to mark them as a no show if it's like a zoom online class and you just want to say hey yeah they didn't they didn't attend and they didn't take up the spot so we're not we're not too worried about giving them the credit back. You certainly can do that, um, but we'll definitely keep you posted about updates to that cancellation policy feature because that is something that we've been talking about. All right. Okay. Well, it doesn't look like we're getting any other questions in. So if you do have something that comes up, again, you can reach out to us at support at punchpass.com or reach out to us in our chat and we'll be happy to help out with anything that you have questions about. Happy to walk you through anything we've covered today. This meeting is being recorded, so we'll send this out to anyone who signed up. So if you wanna revisit anything, you definitely can. Um, but we'll just uh, thank everyone for coming in and joining us today. We really appreciate your time. If you, again, if you have any questions, reach out to us. Um, hopefully you have a really lovely holiday season. I uh, hope you get to uh, enjoy it. Hope you get to maybe have an opportunity to support people and organizations in your community and, and feel the love right back as people shop local this season. So everyone stay safe. Thank you so much. And uh, we'll see you next time.